I think one of the greatest takeaways from Gonzaga are the, are the people. Really, it, it's the people that really sculpted my experience there. The, the biggest impacts that this piece will have for a prospective student coming in is because the whole perspective and meaning of roots can go as deep as an individual will take it. Uh, walking into the building for the first time and seeing this piece, I think that the representation of the roots will have a direct impact because this is where the roots are going to begin you know, in this journey through, through law. If someone who had never seen Ben Joyce's artwork and someone who's not affiliated with either the um, Pacific Northwest, the Inland Northwest, or uh, what it means to be a painter of place, I would say that Ben Joyce's work comes from this really wonderful tradition of uh, both two-dimensional and three-dimensional pieces, uh, intersections with technology and topography, and at the same time, this really warm sense of belonging and discovery. So in many ways, the genesis of this project starts with our generous alumni benefactors. Uh, it was through the exposure to his art in our building through the Artist in Residence program that I was approached by a couple of alums who said, have you thought about commissioning a piece by Ben Joyce for the law school? Uh, so I was able to say, yes, I've thought about it, but I'm, I'm pretty certain we can't afford it. And they said, that's where we come in. I think as you walk into Gonzaga and you see one of Ben's pieces, you truly have a sense of place. And hopefully that sense of place is something that attracts prospective students with the beauty of the piece and the facilities and the people and the programs and the reputation of the school. But also as you leave and you see that piece, it ties your roots back to Spokane, it ties your roots back to Gonzaga, and it also reminds you that we gotta nourish this country we live in and make a difference going forward. To me, I hope this piece, Go Forth, is something that resonates with every student, every faculty member, every staff member, whoever comes into contact with Gonzaga Law School. It's a symbol to us and to the outward world of who we are and what our aspirations are, and also ties us back to this place, to the physicality of this special building on the banks of the Spokane River. Uh, we as an institution have a long story in history as a law school, but in this building, we're only 20 years. Uh, we're gonna be here much longer, and this is something in which our whole community can take pride and can take ownership. It becomes the visual symbol for what it is that we're doing here. It's showing us that we have a connection to a place. It shows us that we can aspire to something wonderful, unseen, unimagined. The whole piece is perfect on so many different levels for us as an institution. The roots symbolizing the ties and the bonds that students build to this place, to this institution during their time with us, I think is very powerful. Uh, the depiction of the roots and their multifaceted nature, their multicolored nature, reflective of the diversity of the backgrounds and the perspectives that we bring uh, each of us to this institution as faculty, staff, students. And then the whole notion of go forth. As, as you look at this piece, it's literally exiting the building. It's, it's exiting the top of our building and you don't see yet what it could become. I think it's highly symbolic of our hopes for every student who comes here. Uh, this is your attachment to a place. This is a foundation from which you can build. And then the future is of your own making. But we know it's going to be spectacular. One of the other things, too, that I didn't want to create a symmetrical piece. And so the layout of these building blocks aren't symmetrical in, in composition. And that's also to, to represent that this is a unique journey for every individual. This is a focus on each individual student and it's not a symmetrical perspective that the university takes. It is individual and each student is gonna have their own path. If you look at what Gonzaga's done at the law school, they've really created all kinds of outreach programs where they provided free care or free legal advice to the communities. And bringing art in is a really interesting mix to the piece of law school because 
It's the roots, right? It's about this particular piece is about the roots in the community, about people building roots with Gonzaga and going out not only into Spokane, but around the world to make a real difference. And I think we need more beauty. We need to appreciate the arts. And I think, um, let's face it, law is a little bit of art. It's a little bit of science, but a lot of art. And so I think bringing those together is incredible. I thought it was a wonderful idea as soon as Jacob Rooksby told me that he was getting donors, benefactors, patrons of the arts um, to basically give us the gift of the heart of a law school. Go Forth is a perfect title for a piece like this because I think that it, it's not necessarily represented in the piece itself. And what it is is really the outcome of the piece. And so it's what this piece represents is, again, the building blocks and the roots and the, the structure that the school gives to the individual. Go forth is what's beyond the piece. My hope is that prospective students walk in the building and see this piece go forth and envision what this means for them in terms of their time with us as a student. We're all in a process of formation uh, and, and certainly in legal education, part of what we're doing is, is forming minds, forming people to go out and make the world a better place. And I want people to imagine that when they see this piece, that they understand that they are forming a connection to this powerful institution. And then it's on them to go forth and set the world on fire to make the world a better place, to take their light and to take their passion out into the world. I think that's the power of education. That's the power of Jesuit education. That's our hope as a law school. And I think this piece embodies that perfectly, the potential we all have to go and make the world a better place. And I hope prospective students see that and feel that when they walk in the building.